Yo, yo, it's Weefu with the Scroll Screen. Pow! Welcome back. Yo, welcome back, ladies and gents. We've got a mad one today. Ladies and gents, I wonder how many females actually do tune into this channel. It really would be good to know. If you are watching and you are female, just give us a hello in the comment section. I am single, by the way, lady, so flirt away. Wink, wink. Right, down to business. Video one comes in from MUFON. The location is Bourne, Massachusetts, and this was submitted on September 1st. It's just an odd stationary object in the sky. The reason I'm showing this one is because we're going to turn the clock back to 2018 of an identical sighting over Russia, but first have a look at this one. So there's nothing really special about this sighting, it's not doing anything much, it doesn't look like a typical UFO, the video is very short and it could just be a balloon. But now let's turn the clock back to 2018 and travel to Russia. I was originally granted permission back then to use this clip but it's been a minute since then and all source information has been lost. But I've managed to obtain a copy, a lot of quality has been lost also, but here it is. It's the same friggin' object, three friggin' years apart, half the friggin' world away, and it seems to be hovering at the same friggin' height. Please excuse my friggins, it's friggin' with my brain. Now, when I originally showed this Russian version, I explained my ET drone theory, but that video is long gone. I will explain again quickly. I have a theory, it is just a theory. I believe we have what I call ET drones dotted all around the planet in a cloaked state. Every so often, these drones become visible to the naked eye. A perfect example in these two videos. These drones are stationed at a certain height and secluded location that they would never interfere with day-to-day -day life on the ground such as us humans coming into contact with them. They're also stationed at such a height and location that air traffic would never collide into these drones. These two videos are just two examples. I've shown many before of just odd looking stationary objects just randomly sitting in the sky. These things don't look aerodynamic, not built for fast maneuvers or getaways. I believe when these things appear in the sky they are not meant to be seen. They're all around us, invisible, surveillance drones like the Truman Show if you will. We've all seen the stationary bird videos before, birds just perched in midair, sat on absolutely nothing. Is it possible that they are just sitting on these invisible drones? I could go even deeper and say that if we really are living in a projection or a computer reality, these things could be part of the projection. But I believe, if my theory is right, they are just here to watch over certain parts of the world, unmanned or uninhabited and send an information back and forth to their intelligent operator. It's funny how I based the 2018 video on ET drones, then two and a half years later we have the exact same object filmed again and I'm discussing my ET drone theory again. What do you think to these two identical objects, but after all of this speculation there could be something so boring and mundane like a balloon? Flying Sentinels now, or kites. I've had this video for a week or two now and Tyler from Secure Team showed it on his video this morning so I'm going to give it a play followed by another video of the same two kites or creatures, I'm calling them octosquids. They really do resemble the Sentinels from the film The Matrix. What the fuck is that bro? It's an alien bro. Bro, this world going to shit, bro. What the fuck is that, bro? This is a real video, bro. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's raining outside right now. What are those things? 
That's in the sky right now, everybody. What the fuck are those? That's in the sky. Here, I'll zoom out. Like, I'm in my car, just chilling. What the fuck are those? Explain. What are those things? That's in the sky right now, everybody. What the fuck are those? That's in the sky. Here, I'll zoom out. Like, I'm in my car, just chilling. What the fuck are those? Explain. I'm going to leave you with a stunning video of the moon now taken by a Ruben Ariza. I'm not sure how he filmed this or what instrument he used, but it is an amazing video with lights reflecting off of the lunar surface. Multiple lights blinking on and off. Some kind of signals maybe, SOS signals, who knows. But this is solid proof of intelligent life and or technology on the moon. Is this proof of humans colonizing the moon and sending signals back and forth or extraterrestrial in nature? Either way, I think you're going to be as mind blown as I was when I first saw this video. I won't need to circle anything out, you will see it for yourself. I'll play it with some inspirational music for a better viewing experience as it goes on for a bit, but here it is. Enjoy the show, and I'll catch you soon. Legends.